Hi, I'm Miss Hannah from the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today we're talking all about geodes. In the first part of this video, I'll tell you a little bit about what geodes are and then in the second part, I'll show you how to make your very own geode at home from stuff that you can find in your kitchen. Let's get started. A geode is a shell made out of rock with different crystals inside. The crystals are made out of different minerals and they come in different colors depending on what minerals are inside of the rock shell. So how does this happen? Slowly moving water containing different minerals collects inside of the rock shells. The water eventually evaporates, leaving the minerals behind. The minerals then link together to form beautiful crystals. Geodes can be found in many different places. There are some really great spots in Western Illinois near the Iowa state line. This geode was found in Wildcat Springs Park in Hamilton, Illinois. And there's a little toad too in that picture. Luckily, you don't have to drive all the way to the Iowa state line to make your own geode at home. Um, you can use some really simple ingredients that you can find in your house to make a really cool replica of a geode. All you need is an eggshell, boiling water, salt, and food coloring if you want to make your geode fancy. Now because we're working with boiling water, be sure to get an adult's permission or have them help you out with this part of the project. So the first thing you're going to do is get an eggshell and clean out the membrane. There's like a second skin that's on the inside of the eggshell. You can kind of see it all piled up. Um, and you're going to want to scrape that out. And here's what it looks like. Um, if you pour some warm water inside of the shell and let it sit for a little bit, that makes it a lot easier to scrape out the membrane. And it's really important to get that out because it will get moldy and really nasty if you leave it in. So once your eggshell is nice and clean, you're going to take um, some boiling water and add food coloring to it if you want food coloring. This is about two teaspoons of boiling water. You don't need much. Next, we're going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it in the uh, water and then you're going to stir it until the salt dissolves completely. And then you're going to follow this pattern for a little while. You're going to add another half teaspoon of salt, stir it around until it dissolves, and then keep adding and adding salt to the boiling water and stirring it. Now eventually your um, salt water is going to become super saturated. So that means that it's so full of salt that um, if you try adding another little bit of salt, it's not going to stir in and it's just kind of going to sit in the water and not get absorbed by the water. Um, so once it looks like this, just like a gloopy mess of salt and water, then it's ready to pour into the eggshells. I have my eggshells inside of an egg carton. Um, you're going to want to put them in something like an egg carton or a muffin tin so that they don't tip over when you're adding your salt water solution. So I'm going to pick up one of my shells and then scoop a couple of spoonfuls of salt water inside of the shell. And this makes enough for about two or three eggshells. And you can fill it as much as you want. I'm not going to fill mine all the way just because I like to think it looks better that way. But you can fill it to the top if you want. And then we'll put it back inside of the egg carton like so. So it's sitting there nice and pretty. Um, and now we have to wait. Um, we have to wait a little while for the water to evaporate. Um, it takes a couple of days, maybe about three to five days. Um, you can just leave your eggshells out on the kitchen countertop or on a windowsill, somewhere where they won't be bothered by anybody. And uh, we'll check back in a couple of days and see 
what the eggshells look like uh, when the water has evaporated. All right, so I'm wearing a different outfit, which means time has passed. It's been about four days since I um, prepared the eggshells with the salt water inside. So now the water has evaporated and we're just left with the salt crystals in the eggshell. So let's see what they look like. All right, so there is my green eggshell geode. You can see uh, when the light hits it just right, the salt sparkles inside, just like the crystals inside of a geode. And again, I used plenty of food coloring to get the um, crystals to be this dark. Um, when the water evaporates, some of the color goes along with it, so be sure to use plenty of food coloring. And then I made a purple one too. This one is really cool. It almost looks like a real amethyst geode. It's not quite as sparkly as the green one was, but trust me, in real life it looks very impressive. Film does not capture the awesomeness of this purple eggshell geode. So um, if you want to learn more about um, rocks or geodes or anything geology related, um, head over to our website, hplibrary.org, and click on Perfect Picks. And you can um, ask us to pull books on pretty much any topic, and we'll try to find those books for you and then get them ready for you to come to the library and pick them up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, be sure to check hplibrary.org for more library in your living room programs. And if you like what you see here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, stay safe and wash your hands.